So we've seen a, another beautiful Saturn launch, but this one will never be known in history or by those of us who watched it as just another Saturn V launch. Not if all goes well, because this is the flight uh, from which man will first set foot on the moon. Uh, we almost glibly tossed that line away, now man on the moon. But by golly, just think it over. Tower's gone. Roger, Tower. Neil Armstrong confirming both the engine skirt separation and the launch escape tower separation. Yeah, Houston, uh, Apollo 11, that Saturn gave us a magnificent ride. Uh, Roger, 11, we'll pass that on, and it certainly looks like you're well on your way now. We believe that uh, Mike Collins is now maneuvering with the spacecraft uh, in the transposition and docking maneuver and uh, the antenna patterns aren't too good at the moment. Apollo 11, this is Houston, radio check, over. All uh, right, Roger, we're copying you about uh, five by two, very weak. Can you give us a status report, please? This is astronaut Michael Collins, command module pilot for the Apollo 11 moon landing mission. How do you view your role as command module pilot? Well, Apollo was designed to be a three-man job, and the third which I perform is, uh, is I think, uh, as important, uh, no more so, no less so, than the other two positions. Uh, I think I'd be a fool if I said that I had the, uh, the best seat of the three. On the other hand, I can say with uh, complete candor and with complete honesty that I'm very happy to have the seat which I have and to be doing the job that I intend to do. Brother Houston, uh, uh, we, had a, we had a slight glimpse of uh, Mike in the rendezvous winner at that time. It's pretty murky looking into there, though. Okay, here he is. I've got him, I've got him on the monitor now. Okay, we see him staring back at us now. <laughs> Hello in there. Apollo loses speed throughout nine-tenths of its journey until the moon's gravity overcomes the pull of Earth. Apollo fires in reverse direction, slowing down enough to be captured in orbit about the moon. Armstrong and Aldrin enter the lunar module Eagle, which separates, leaving Collins and the command service module in lunar orbit. Will you be kept pretty busy as you fly alone in the command module? Yes and no. I hope I'll be very unbusy. I have uh, two roles to play. First, I uh, act as the passive target vehicle. And in the event that everything is working perfectly within the LEM, then uh, I am not unduly busy. I have many chores to do, and I, uh, I prepare to, uh, to take an active role in bringing the two vehicles together. However, as I say, provided the LEM works uh, and can, its radar is working properly and it's capable of making each and every maneuver uh, uh, leading up to the rendezvous and docking, then my job is, uh, is essentially a quiescent one. Okay, all flight controllers, go no go for landing. Retro. Go. Righto. Go. Guidance. Go. Control. Go. Telcom. Go. GNC. Go. Ecom. Go. Surgeon. Go. Capcom, we're go for landing. Altitude 4200. Houston, you're a go for landing. Over. Second. Right on, forward, forward, 40 feet down, two and a half, picking up some dust, straight shadow, four forward, drift into the right a little, 30 seconds, forward, just contact light, okay, engine stop, we copy you down, Eagle, 
Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Stand by. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. Oh, that looks beautiful from here, Neil. It has a stark beauty all its own. It's uh, like m much of the high desert of uh, the United States. It's uh, different, but it's very pretty out here. Are you getting a TV picture now, Houston? Neil, yes, we are getting a TV picture. You're in our field of view now. Houston, Columbia, and I gain over. Roger, the EVA is progressing beautifully. They're setting up the flag now. I guess you're about the only person around that doesn't have TV coverage of the scene. That's all right, I don't mind a bit. They've got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes on the lunar surface. Beautiful, just beautiful. How is the quality of the TV? Oh, it's beautiful, Mike. It really is. I'd like to evaluate the uh, various paces that a person can traveling on the lunar surface. You do have to be. All right, you do have to be uh, rather careful uh, to keep track of where your center of mass is.